It is a privilege to be joined today on the summit by Grace Beyer, a basketball player from Roosevelt University, as well as a number of other things, including the host of the Live with Grace podcast, podcast that uh, I appreciate listening to. I enjoy what you have to say there, Grace. Uh, talk about that just a little bit. They can find your podcast on Spotify and Apple of lots of places. But what is the Live with Grace podcast? So the Live With Grace podcast is a podcast that I started back in 2022, in August of 2022. And my inspiration for starting it was just to inspire other athletes and kind of have a space for me to be able to talk about the challenges and experiences that I've had within my basketball journey, but also how basketball has help me grow as a person as well and helped in so many other areas of my life how different areas of my life have also fed into my basketball journey all types of things i also have um fellow college athletes professional athletes and people that work within the sports realm of the show talk about their journey talk about specific topics relating to sports and things that athletes experience for example, this week I had someone on talking about she's she was a former athlete now come, becoming a future dietitian and she was talking all about forming healthy eating habits and healthy body image while also considering that the eating habits and things that are beneficial to keep in mind that with being an athlete if that makes sense. So it really ranges over a wide span of topics, and I have feel like I've barely scratched the surface of the, all the things I want to talk about mm-hmm. with that podcast, but you can find it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, YouTube, and you can also find me on most all social media channels, and it's just Live With Grace Podcast spelled exactly like that, so that's how you could stay up to date with the most recent episodes and just get some extra motivation if you're an athlete or anyone that is interested in sports. Now, I know you have some time during the summer to maybe be uh, at home, not not constantly on the court, although I'm sure that you're, you're staying ready for the, the upcoming season. You'll be a senior at Roosevelt University playing for the Lakers. With uh, it, It's not just your own podcast too. Uh, You've recently taken a position with Voice in Sport, and that is uh, its place. Let me read the mission. The mission is to bring more visibility to women and to elevate their voice. What are you doing with Voice in Sport? So I joined Voice in Sport because it was a platform that sheds light on women's sports specifically and also provided a really cool opportunity for me to sharpen my writing skills and with my with my uh, major being journalism and media studies, it was right up my alley. Um, also, kind of in line with everything that I've been doing with my po- with my platform on the podcast. Uh, that um, position actually doesn't start until July eighth, so I haven't yet begun in that role. But I'll definitely be posting all the work that we do. The internship doesn't start until July. So I haven't yet started my journey with Voice in Sport, but I'm super excited to get started. And that's a six-month internship, so it's something that I'm going to be working for for a long time. And hopefully those connections that I'll make while working for them will also last longer than that internship. But yeah, a great company. They bring such um, positive light and attention to women's sports, and I'm super excited to get started. You know, I, I want to talk about the the major and the journalism side of things. I saw close to my heart here uh, as well. But you're a basketball player too. So I mentioned you have the summer off, but you're going to be playing again heading into your senior year. You, your college journey took you to Valdosta State for a couple of seasons and now to Roosevelt, uh, a program that's moving from the NAI into Division Two. So you're back at the D2 level. Talk a little bit about playing mm-hmm. basketball. So I love basketball. Basketball is a huge passion of mine. I feel like it's a calling that was put on my life by God. I know we're going to get into the faith part of who I am as well later on in the podcast. But I actually, I used to play soccer when I was younger and basketball came to me kind of as 
just a fun opportunity that was in the off season for soccer. And then I absolutely like fell in love with it. And now it's given, it's provided so many opportunities. For example, being able to experience the city of Chicago. Um, I'm, I'm coming from Florida, so it's very different, but it's been so cool. I've been able to meet so many people and I genuinely just have so much passion and joy and love for the game of basketball itself. Like just even now within the off season, it's really hard for me to <laughs> not like overtrain just because I love just being in the gym. I love being out there, but I also have learned that it's smart to have a plan of action when it comes to the off season. That's actually what my last podcast episode was about. It was about how I've learned to plan and optimize my off season time, but I'm super excited for my senior year. And right now my focus is just staying present and doing everything I can every single day to put myself in the best position for that senior season. We're visiting now with Grace Byer with the Live with Grace podcast and also college basketball player. I, I, I mentioned the journalism side of things. You're majoring in, in journalism and media studies at Roosevelt. Uh, you do have an opportunity to continue to hone those writing skills. Here's the sports editor for The Torch. Talk a little bit about that and do you get to cover yourself? Yeah, so um, I absolutely love my major and my program, especially since I transferred to Roosevelt. It was a great program at Valdosta State as well. But I think with the location being in Chicago, the professors and just the caliber of the people that I'm learning from and the people that I'm around all the time are just so great. I actually look forward to going to class and just being able to learn and you know, sharpen my skills in so many different areas when it comes to journalism. And one of those opportunities came in the form of our school newspaper, which is called The Torch. Um, and I knew a lot of the girls that had worked for the, or the people that had worked for The tur Torch beforehand, and I knew that I wanted to write for them. I didn't know if I would be able to handle being having in a role on the team but again that was something that kind of arose naturally um because they didn't they didn't have someone that could be sports editor so it kind of just worked out all perfectly that's kind of what I wanted to do anyways so I uh have the opportunity with a torch to not only cover basketball but also to cover any other sports I've I think bringing a light to other sports at the school has been a really awesome experience because like, for example, I did some work covering cheer and dance and they're not typically the, in the spotlight. So it was really nice to like shed some light on all the hard work that they do as well. And they're always so great supporting us. So it was really nice to be able to give them that same type of support and love. And I also get to oversee all of the sports articles that other people write for The Torch and get some experience editing and overseeing those as well. So it's been awesome working for The Torch and being in the journalism program. I think it's neat on your podcast, you get to talk about the things you mentioned there with sports and, and uh, different people, what they bring to the table. But you've also had a chance to share a little bit about your own life and talk about your faith journey. And uh, I know that was uh, that was a podcast I really appreciated. Uh, let us know a little bit Thank about you. That. So, my I don't really know where to start because my faith has always been something that has carried me through every season. I think my faith journey got more serious and intentional when I um, experienced my first major injury, which was I was in only in seventh grade, and. I think I talked about that some on that podcast with being completely sidelined and unable to, I don't want to say distract myself with exercise and workouts and things, but it kind of was that like with just having so much more time to just be quiet with God, that is where the beginning of my faith journey started. And ever since then, as all of us do, athletes or not, we go through all different seasons of life and some of those seasons for me haven't been the most predictable or brightest for example I tore my ACL and meniscus not only when I was in eighth grade but also my senior year of high school um 
And that was also during COVID times. And it was just so much uncertainty. And if it hadn't been for my faith, my strong faith in God, that was really the one thing that pulled me through that. And it was more than just my faith and what I put into my prayers, but it was actually like a calling that God had put on my heart. And that's something that I think still sustains me every single day. That's how I start my day. That's how I end my day. That's my sense of purpose behind what I'm doing, not only with basketball and with the podcast, but just how I show up in everyday life as well for the people that I love. So that's ultimately my purpose in this life. If I didn't have basketball, if I didn't have all these external things, I just am so grateful for God and all the the wonderful things that he's blessed me with just to be able to wake up and be myself and have the health and the strength and the courage to go out and do all the things that I want to do. I try not to take those things for granted, but yeah, that's just a small blip about my faith journey, but it's definitely something that's very important to me. Well, and, and for those who want to know a little bit more, <clears throat> they can follow you at that uh, and, and and listen to that podcast in particular. I think it actually says uh, Faith Journey on there. Uh, that's part of the title. Live with Grace podcast. And Grace Byer, I appreciate you taking some time for us here today on Midwest Sports Net. Uh, tell the people again where they can find you. Let them know one more time. Yeah, thank you so much again for having me. This has been great. I'm so glad that we were able to make this work. And the podcast, it could be fo- found on most all diff- all all the platforms where people listen to podcasts. I think the most popular ones are Spotify and Apple Podcasts. If you go on Spotify, um, the video podcasts are also there as well as on YouTube. But you can also find it on Amazon Music, on Google Podcasts, and on a website called that was formerly called anchor.fm now it's called spotify for podcasters but yeah you can also find and keep up with the podcast on any of the various social media channels it's just at live with grace podcast and i also post about it on my personal pages on twitter and instagram and all those things so that's just my name grace buyer and we will do that here on midwest sports net thanks again grace Thank you so much.